Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Much of what happens on our planet can be explained, but to this day, some destinations remain shrouded in mystery, with the world's greatest minds unable to determine their histories or explain their remarkable features. We combed the continents in search of the world's most mysterious places and found some truly wild places. San Luis Valley, Colorado The San Luis Valley Desert in southern Colorado is so mysterious it even has its own Google map highlighting various paranormal activity that's been reported there. A flying humanoid was spotted in the desert in 2009, there have been many Bigfoot sightings over the years, and it's home to a ranch that figured prominently in the animal mutilation waves of the 70s. This otherwise beautiful valley, the largest alpine valley in the world, has been inhabited by humans or aliens for thousands of years. One indication of this is the snaking stones of unknown origin that measure hundreds of feet long and contain rocks so enormous that it would take a well-coordinated effort to place them. But perhaps the weirdest feature isn't otherworldly at all, it's just bizarre. The northern part of the valley floor contains the 40-square-mile Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, which features the world's tallest dune at 750 feet. Geologists have a hard time explaining the origin of the sand, but they think it might have been blown in from the Rio Grande riverbed to the west. Adding to the intrigue is the fact that the sand is some of the purest silica on Earth and has a distinct mineral composition unlike anything else in the valley. Oak Island Money Pit If someone were to claim they knew a story that involved the Holy Grail, a band of pirates, William Shakespeare, Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Edgar Allan Poe, you might think the tale was a riddle or a fanciful movie script. However, one particular site in Canada holds a history that brings together all of these elements and more. Located off the shores of Nova Scotia, along Canada's Atlantic coast, Oak Island is among approximately 360 islands dotting Mahoney Bay. At first glance, the seemingly mundane island conceals any evidence of historical importance. However, appearances can be deceiving. Despite the natural scenery and serene setting of Oak Island, the story of this island's past is replete with mystery, intrigue and even tragedy. The potency of the story that follows has captured the human imagination and has driven men to their graves. From academics to adventurers, many have grappled with trying to explain the mystery, but none have been able to get to the bottom of the money pit of Oak Island. In 1795, 16-year-old Daniel McGuinness discovered a depression in the ground near a huge oak tree and evidence that a block and tackle had been used there. McGuinness and two friends dug at the site, revealing a filled-in shaft with platforms of decayed oak logs at three-meter levels. They quit digging after nine meters, but in 1804 returned and reached the 30-meter level before the shaft filled up with salt water. Subsequent digs uncovered tunnels connecting the money pit with the ocean. A dam built to solve the problem was destroyed in a storm. Vast sums of money have since been spent in excavations that have cratered the island, and four treasure hunters died in an accident in 1965. Though no treasure has been found, a submarine TV camera lowered into a cavity 60 meters below the surface in 1971 produced faint images of what is thought to be three chests, a pick, and a dismembered human hand. However, just enough evidence has been found to keep people digging. Among the biggest discoveries were a set of stone inscriptions found 90 feet below the earth. Symbols on the stones were translated as, 40 feet below lie 2 million pounds. Even more promising was the alleged discovery of a few gold pieces. As with many of the discoveries from the pit, the inscriptions and the gold itself disappeared and have not been seen in over 50 years. Thus, little modern investigation on them can be done. In many ways, the expeditions themselves have become a part of the history of Oak Island. It's often difficult to discern what the creators of the pit left and what belonged to treasure hunters, and a stone inscription marked 1701 is even considered by some to be a hoax left by past hunters. Whether the pit is a natural sinkhole, a booby-trapped pit filled with gems, or one of the world's greatest follies may forever remain a mystery. In 2010, a final treasure hunt was initiated, found nothing, and the government passed the Oak Island Act, banning all commercial treasure hunting on the island. La Zona del Silencio – Zone of Silence Deep in the desert in northern Mexico, between the states of Durango, Chihuahua and Coahuila, is an area known as Zona del Silencio, or the Zone of Silence, also known as Mapimi Silent Zone for its close proximity to the city of Mapimi. 
Legend says that in this area, electromagnetic transmissions cannot be received, radio doesn't work, compasses don't point to magnetic north, and the flora and fauna have abnormal mutations. Over the years, stories of alien encounters, falling hot pebbles, and all sorts of paranormal activities have been drawing tourists and curiosity seekers from all over the world. The myth started in July in 1970 when the U.S. military base near Green River, Utah, fired an Athena test missile towards White Sands Missile Range. The missile lost control and instead of landing on the intended target, continued 400 miles south and fell in the Mapimi Desert region. Immediately, a team of specialists arrived to find the fallen rocket. When the rocket was found after three weeks of intense search, an airstrip was built to transport the wreckage. The entire operation was very hush-hush, consistent with governmental common sense, and nobody was told anything or asked. The secretive nature of the operation was already spurring rumors among the residents. Teotihuacan Any trip to Mexico City should include a visit to this fascinating Mesoamerican city, just 30 miles northeast of the capital. The pyramids and other structures here date to 400 BCE. By the time the Aztecs found the city in the 1400s, it had already been abandoned for centuries. They named it the place where the gods were created, or Teotihuacan. But who built the city and why is one of the great mysteries of Mexico. Nothing speaking to its origins was left behind, but features of the buildings, avenues, pyramids and other structures indicate Maya, Mixtec and Zapotec influences. One of the best explanations is that people from many ancient cultures flooded the area following a nearby volcanic eruption and built the city. While far from definitive, this idea is boosted by the fact that the main road, called the Avenue of the Dead, points directly at Cerro Gordo, a sacred extinct volcano. Church of the Holy Sepulchre Our next mysterious locale is perhaps a study in the desire of believers to grasp any verifiable connection to what they worship. The story begins in 2016, but really it started more than 2,000 years ago, and it's spine-tinglingly mysterious. In the Holy Land of Jerusalem, in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is presumed to be the burial ground of one Jesus Christ before his resurrection, in 2016 strange things started happening there. People reported smelling a sweet aroma emanating from Christ's tomb, and sensitive instrumentation used to scan beneath the tomb simply stopped working properly. Was this evidence of the Second Coming, or mere coincidence? Did science have an explanation? The short answer to all of that is no, but the world works in strange ways. The tomb had not been opened since the year 135 during the reign of Emperor Constantine, which in and of itself is worth a pause and reflection. Hoya Basu Forest, Romania Warped trees fill this forest, their skeletal figures twisting and spiralling, making it seem as though they're contorting themselves to reach out and touch you. An eerie silence fills the air, interrupted only by the footsteps of unseen figures. Given its eerie atmosphere, it's no wonder the Hoya Basu Forest is said to be one of the most haunted forests in the world. As such, it's a place that lends well to stories steeped with darkness. Some even call it the Bermuda Triangle of Romania. According to local legends, ghosts and spirits lurk among the crooked trees. One tale tells of a young girl who disappeared in the forest, only to reappear five years later, unable to remember where she'd been. Another legend speaks of a shepherd who, along with his sheep, vanished within the woods. And, as with most places associated with the supernatural, there are also rumours of alien encounters. Of course, the forest has so much more to offer than just a dark thrill. It's a perfectly pleasant recreation area, letting locals and visitors take a break from urban Cluj-Napoca. There are hiking and biking paths that wind through the unusual trees, and the woods teem with a rich variety of animal life. Rock-hewn churches, Ethiopia In the heart of Ethiopia is situated one of its holiest towns, known as Lalibela, where a group of 11 monolithic rock-hewn churches stand. They're the biggest monolithic temples in the world and listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, yet much mystery still surrounds their construction. The age of these buildings is unknown, but legend mentions that they were excavated during the reign of Gebre Mesco Lalibela, who ruled Ethiopia at the beginning of the 13th century AD. His name means the bees recognize him as a king. However, David Philipson, professor of African archaeology at Cambridge University, has proposed that the churches of Mercurius, Gabriel Rufial, and Donegal were initially carved out of the rock half a millennium earlier as fortifications or other palace structures in the waning days of the Aksumite kingdom, 
and that Lollibella's name simply came to be associated with them after his death. According to legends, an angel came and asked Lollibella to build the churches. Men and angels worked together to construct them, the men working through the day and the angels working through the night. The churches were hewn out of solid rock from top to bottom, excavated externally and internally, and carved in different styles. One of the churches, the Bet Georges, was devoted to St. George and supposedly the saint overlooked the building of this church, directing its very construction. Legends claim the churches were built in 24 years, however archaeologists consider this impossible. Even today, accomplishing this work using carbon steel tip chisels and diamond blades would be remarkable. There are also many other peculiarities about its construction, such as the fact that the massive amount of stone and earth that would have had to be removed from around the churches and from their hollowed-out interiors was nowhere to be found. Lollibella is an extraordinary place to visit and offers something unique that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. The excavation of such wondrous buildings raises many important questions such as how were the buildings carved using simple tools? Where was the excavated stone and earth carried to? How were the stones carried away? Where did the accounts of angels originate? And why were these remarkable buildings constructed in the first place? The answers to these and many more questions are yet to be determined. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy the video please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up my next video.